this is Flow High 117 here, and today I'm going to be uh, showing you the review video of the Hover Things Flip 360 frame. You can get it at hoverthings.com. This is a basically a mini size uh, FPV frame. It's basically the smaller version, sort of, of the standard Hover Things Flip FPV frame. So as you can see, the Mini Flip 360 is quite a bit smaller than the standard flip. You can see that right there. It's not too small to where it's hard to see line of sight or anything like that, so you're still able to enjoy it as a, a line of sight flying quad. You know, if you don't have FPV gear, um, it's still a great quad to do something like that with. Everything that you're able to put on this quad um, is the same that you'll be putting on the, the bigger size flip or any other FPV frame, you know. Uh, on, on this one I have Team Black Sheet Core OSD on there, you know, your GoPro up front, um, you know, 2.4 or, or uh, 72 if you really wanted to, or, you know, UHF system could also fit on here, you know, a NASA or Copter Control 3D, I have a NASI 32 in there. The back actually has a spot to mount the battery in the back to help balance out for the GoPro on the front, but uh, I actually have my video transmitter mounted back there so I actually mount my battery right here on top so um, if you are running 5.8 or if you have a different way of mounting it um, you can you know mount the video transmitter and stuff up here and you'll be able to uh, keep your battery back here um, I didn't really have room because of the Team Black Sheep core in here to mount that stuff up there and I don't really mind ma mounting my battery up top it actually has some different cutouts right here for where you can put battery straps through and stuff like that so you know this is a really well thought out frame uh, I really like it a lot this is the prototype version um, of the frame so the the standard flip 360 that is sold in hoverthings.com store um, it's a little bit different basically the front is really the only thing that's really that much different from mine but you know the one that you'll be able to order will have a cage over the GoPro and it's actually adjustable so you can fit a GoPro 2 or a GoPro Hero 3, you know, with the same cage, which is pretty nice. Another great thing about this is, since it's so cheap to build, I was able to do more things with it than I was normally able to do with my uh, bigger, more expensive quads. Meaning, on this one, I put LEDs all, all around it on all the legs, and I put a uh, little brushed speed controller in there to where I can operate my LEDs um, with the uh, with the switch, which makes it pretty nice if you want to fly it at night, because uh, you, you can see it; it's really bright. And uh, on three cell at night, it's not incredibly incredibly fast. It's it's about a normal flip on three cell. I mean, it's not like incredibly powerful, but it's still fun. And at nighttime, I don't really need something really incredibly powerful because it's night, and you know you're limited on what you can see. So I actually like doing that at night. Everything on this frame is actually pretty cheap. Um, I built this one cheap. Um, basically to show how great a quad can be without, you know, spending the ton of money on something like this with, you know, you got your, your T-motors and stuff like that and your T-motor ESCs and a NASA and, you know, a Dragon Link receiver and, you know, stuff like that where, where this quad is, is more simple, fun, um, you know, it, it's, it, it's a basher, you know what I mean? It, it'll fly on... 2200 three cell um, I've flown mine all the way up to a 2700 four cell you know um, so my setup is very flexible with uh, with the cell counts and stuff like that but during the daytime I like to put it on four cell 2200 to a 2700 pack and it's a rocket it, it literally sounds like a, a two-stroke dirt bike it's pretty funny actually because it's really loud it's the loudest quad I've ever had <laughs> But that's just that has a lot to do with my motor and prop setup. So don't think that yours are gonna is really gonna be that loud. You know, you can get some slow fly props on there and some uh, slower KV motors and stuff like that, and it'll definitely quiet it down. The great thing about this is you can build it on a, on a cheap budget. You know, I got these XCRC Rocket Series. Uh, 1360 kV motors um, they're 2210s and they are uh, eight dollars a piece I think from uh, hobbyparts.com if you want to run motors like this the same ones if you do you're gonna have to drill out 
the bottom, if you can see that, I actually had to drill out the bottom to make the motors fit. So uh, that's something that, you know, if you're thinking about using these motors, you're going to have to do. And then um, I got these uh, 20 amp ESCs from uh, Quadrastereo.com. They're 2 to 4 cell. And honestly, these are probably one of the best ESCs I've ever used. I sat there and I bashed it around like crazy. And these ESCs came down completely cool, you know. So I was really, really, really liking that. I've literally had this quad nosedive into the ground and it was basically a lawn dart itself with the two front props just sticking in the ground like that and I came over there and it was stuck in the ground like like this I just pulled it right out and the props have been fine I've actually done that twice now with it so uh, I'm you know I'm really liking these props these these props are 925 from DIYquadcopters.com so your price per crash is going to be down because each prop is necessarily going to be cheaper just by going to a, uh, a smaller quad like you know something like this where the props are cheaper you can buy twice the amount of props compared to a, a bigger flip or something you know running um, props like this or similar ones you know and if you really want to be cheap um, there's actually a gym fan uh, nylon props that are 8x5 and those are only two dollars a pair and those are slow flies, so you're going to actually get a quieter quad. It won't be as loud and as aggressive sounding. Obviously, the nylon props are going to flex more, but, you know, if you're a beginner running 3-cell, those will be fine. You don't have to worry about anything. Which is great with something, like I said, this size. Everything is very cheap on it, you know. Another great thing about this frame is it has rubber shock dampeners in there so that it'll take all the vibes away from the, uh, the motors and the, um, the propellers and everything like that. So it keeps the video you know jello free which is nice you know my, my GoPro sitting like this I have zero jello on my video it's pretty awesome you know I didn't have to do anything weird you know I just fly at 720 at 60 frames per second or 1080 at 60 frames per second and it's been completely perfect the whole time so another nice thing about this quad that I like is the feet as you can see the feet are rubber you know they kind of got a little bit of squishiness to them so when you um when you hit kind of hard you know it, it doesn't really hurt anything because they're rubberized they have a rubberized coating on them if you can see that so uh, they also provide a really good grip you know you got some pretty good grip there it's not really going to move that helps out when you're coming in for some kind of sketchy landing sometimes you don't want to be sliding around or sliding across the ground when you're trying to land pretty much when those feet grab it, it holds it there so you can drop throttle and it won't move so that's another great thing about the feet it's really strong it's foldable you know you, it's got the foldable arms you can fold these forward and the, the back arms back so that's another great thing about it and it's, it's an overall lighter frame so chances of it breaking something are a little bit slimmer because of the the mass it has it's so much lighter than a, a bigger quad that when it hits it normally doesn't really break anything you can fly and learn things and and take risks and not really worry about having to uh, worry about the crashes being so expensive so you're actually able to progress and learn new tricks a lot faster and then if if you really feel like you need to move to a bigger quad later you can but I don't even really fly my bigger flip that much anymore just because if I crash my bigger flip it's more of a oh that that hurt you know whereas I'm not as worried to crash when I fly this it's only 360 millimeters diagonally and it's 273 millimeters um, horizontally so it's small so you can take it a little bit more places this is a, a good quad to practice new techniques if you're if you're a beginner um, builder or if you've not built a quad yet this is something that you know I would say pick up practice on if you're looking for something that can carry a GoPro but you know still take a hit more than say the bigger frames can this, this is a, you know it's a no-brainer this frames great I mean you really can't go wrong with this that's my review on the hover thing flip 360 um, it's, it's like I said it's a great frame I, I really can't fault it anywhere check out the FPV video coming up soon um, and see how this thing flies it's it's rock solid thanks for watching <laughs>